What is up guys? My name is Ryan here. Welcome back to today. It is another day, a beautiful day, just to talk about Resident Evil 7. Gold edition, not a hero. Now, obviously, this video has been uploaded, uh, I think, a couple, I think a day ago, like yesterday, it already, it was already uploaded, but I didn't know until now I've, I've just noticed it. So, um, as you guys who have went to my channel just to check out um, the, the upload videos. Now, for some of you who have already went to my video, to my Resident Evil 7 Go Edition Not a Hero video, I, I because just now I was talking about the Resident Evil 7 Go Edition uh, Not a Hero, uh, my topics and thoughts about it, uh, because I was also reacting to it at the same time while talking and at the same time discussing about why he's there and many more and after that i was busy uploading ended up i got copyright claim so don't worry i i purposely created another video just to let you guys understand uh my point here and also give you my full 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 theory and many more so obviously i won't play the game i won't play the i won't play the video however i was I also won't make any noise. I mean, I wouldn't put any uh, volume up or anything like that because I don't want to get copyright claimed. I really don't. So I, what I would do is I'll skip certain parts to let you guys see uh, and stuff like that. So let's start off with this. So right now in this expansion pack, this DLC expansion pack, we for us Resident Evil fans who have already played Resident Evil 7, I mean Resident Evil... Uh, yeah, Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil Seven, uh, the original, um, who we who we once played as Isaac. I think it was Isaac. I can't remember. So we were playing as a protagonist, Isaac, who basically wants to find his wife Mia, who Mia is actually uh, working with a company who also also kind of created weapons, viruses, and many more. And this company created this fungus. And Mia has to be the guardian of that child because the child has the is basically the host, the uh the, the host of the fungus. So enough spoiling for those of you who do not know Resident Evil Seven. Now, as we already know what what the story is in Resident Evil Seven, the expansion pack, act, this new expansion DLC basically talks about how. Chris managed to find the antidote, managed to put the antidote into the Albert gun, and then uh, use it against the the fungus host, who basically tries to uh, what? How do you say? Devour other people's body, and then mind controls them, and many more. So this is actually really is interesting because we are playing as our one and only famous protagonist, Chris Redfield. And I was a little bit upset because we are just playing Chris only. Normally, uh, w as we play um, horror games, Resident Evil games, we normally have a partner. But this time, we're playing all alone. It's just like the same exact thing as the Resident Evil Evil 7 as we're playing as Isaac, who we're basically playing as him all alone. No partner, no nothing. So we're just playing as him alone only, which is kind of sad. Uh, because I was hoping that his sister Claire Ritfield would appear in this, but it did not. That so I was a little bit, a little bit, uh, how do you say, a little bit upset. So uh, forgive me for my mic. My mic has a little bit of a static here. I think there's a static, isn't it? I think there is. I'm very sorry about that because my mic has been going on. Something really bad has has been happening on my microphone. Don't know why that's happening. But uh, let me just fix it a little bit uh, I'm not sure if it's working at all I'm, I'm seriously not sure but hopefully it is so um, if it's if, if there's static on my microphone please forgive me because uh, I might need to change this microphone soon enough because it's getting from bad to worse the situation on my microphone is terrible forgive me on that but for those of you who truly understand uh, because I'm kind of broke so uh, back to the topic so on this on this expansion, we're basically controlling as Chris Redfield, basically going under the mining cave where it, it was abandoned by some company, and it was took 
taken over by the Umbrella Corporation. So this mining area is basically taken over by Umbrella Corporation or some other company, but probably Umbrella Corpor Corporation because Umbrella Corporation is still alive. And uh, if it also needs this, this expansion pack needs to explain why Chris Redfield was basically flying the uh, flying the what's that helicopter again? the umbrella corporation helicopter so it, it's going to be a lot more interesting because we get to see new mecha mechanics and many more so this thing this one here is the new feature it's no longer the watch feature where you get to check your health bar you get to check how much uh how much uh, hp you have and stuff like that how much meter you have and this time they also added a uh, oxygen meter which you can see the hundred sign here, so you can also see the the oxygen meter. So this is the health bar, this is the oxygen meter, and obviously this is the the amount of bullets you have in every gun. So in this gameplay, it shows us that currently right now we get to see Chris holding a shotgun and a pistol. That's what he has currently right now. Uh, the one one thing that also excites me the most is the level design in this game now the level design in this game is absolutely gorgeous and i love it it's it's super but then again i find that the resident evil franchise resident evil 7 has been abusing too much uh like going to deep tunnels scary tunnels dark tunnels and uh, or maybe or maybe like dark ruins like dark tunnel ruins or basically very scary looking caves and many more. You know, the Resident Evil franchise, I just do notice this. They've been using a lot of this um, dark areas where you get to go into the cave, you get to fight mobs, you get to run away, you get to solve, you get to solve uh, puzzles just to get out of that labyrinth and many more, you get out from that maze and many more. They kind, they kind of been using this for a couple of times already and I, I got li a little bit sick, but if the horror is there, which is superb, I will accept it because that that is what I truly am focusing right now. So overall, the gameplay, the the aiming feature, and many more. I haven't seen how the inventory work, but I hope it it will appear. So yeah, overall, this mining area is basically used uh, as a research lab now under the Umbrella Corporation. Totally unknown why they are using they are doing that. But let's just hope that the story would then overlap and then explain to us why uh, Chris has to go into this particular area. What has he got to do in this in this case and stuff like that. So I have my own theories about this one right here because this one right here could be, uh, I don't know, he could be one of the Umbrella Corporation member or some psychopath basically having the same exact uh power or maybe he's a bow abuse like drug abuse bow fella who just basically injects himself with the virus and becomes like wesker uh albert wesker so overall it is kind of cool that they managed to add in pretty cool design here i just love the design so there are certain areas in this game which does doesn't really understand. I don't really understand like this part here, like this white stuff right here. It's a total unknown thing, but uh, it will ex overlap explain. Maybe it's a virus or something like that. I don't know, but I hope it explains. So it, it's cool that they have also managed to put a lot more design in every stage here, which makes me so excited and makes me so hyped about it. I just hope that they don't downgrade it when they the when they immediately released this game on PC and many more on the PlayStation 4. I just hope they do, they don't downgrade it. That's the thing I'm, I'm a little bit worried as well. So they're doing very well with the gameplay here. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to skip to the part where uh, the mods appear. Now, the most disappointing thing about this part right here is that they managed to reuse the mobs in Resident Evil 7. I was hoping that they will mix the BOWs in, uh, like the Ouroboros virus or the or the fear virus or many more. I was hoping that they can actually put in the older viruses instead of reusing the same mob over and over again. I, I was hoping they could reuse the older mobs, like maybe put a reworked Tyrant or maybe put a reworked um, Hunter or something like that. Um, but instead, they kind of they kind of abused it. They kind of reused it again. 
So I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, but at the same time, a little bit disappointing. But it's fine because also they managed to design the mobs, the creature a little bit more fancy looking, a lot more detail, and I like it. It's super good this time. And the good thing about it is that, as you guys see, Chris's finishing move. You just saw that, right? Chris's finishing move is that punch thing. Let me just show you guys again. As he goes up to the mob and then finishes with the punch. That's Chris's finishing move. His classic finishing move. It's cool. It's really cool to see his move coming back into this. They managed to put that feature as an execution to execute uh, the enemy. Just instantly just finish the enemy off at a certain amount of health. Now, that's cool. That's good. Um, the thing is also, I'm a little bit excited about how the story is also going to connect the dots about the shipwreck and many more. Uh, and how the story is going to explain why this virus is, is developed and what purpose. I mean, I think they already said it in the original game, the original Resident Evil 7. They talk about uh, why they have to why they have to create this because maybe it's because they want to use it as a weaponry and stuff like that. Now, I, I can't really remember because it's been a long time. Another finishing move is Chris just storms the enemy on the head and then basically blows off the heads off so that's cool that's a good feature and this is the you see look at how cool the design look the monster's design is now improved better it's it's a lot more in, it's a lot more detailed this time than the um than the resident evil 7 original because look at the detail look at the design it looks so fucking cool this time and i love it i really do love it so i can't keep playing i can't keep uh, letting you letting the video play because i i'm very scared of getting copyrighted cover claim so new mobs appearing like this gigantic mob which is not the which is not a bloater which loves to warm it out and stuff like that this time it's a 10 times much more bigger monster than you can ever face with now this is actually interesting because um this is a new mob and this could be a boss actually this is my theory this could actually be a boss so yeah there's a lot of things that I would actually like to point this out, but this gameplay is very little. It's like only 2 minutes and 51 seconds, and it's not enough to basically talk about. I was hoping for it to be like 3 minutes and 40 seconds, 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Around that would be good enough. That way I can actually elaborate more. But I'm just uh, also uh, hoping that they would come up with another trailer about uh, some some intense things so that the fans would start doing some theory and understanding and, and and just see what's going on what the hell is going on and stuff like that so yeah that's what i'm actually waiting for in 12th of december um uh, which not a hero the free content will be on the 12th december on the 17th so 12th december 2017 which is going to appear on winter in winter and it's going to be freaking cool and i love it i really hope that this is going to be super exciting because I, I love the Resident Evil series. I really do love the Resident Evil series. And if you guys keep hearing the static noises, I'm very sorry about that. But I will try my best to fix this problematic issue. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Oh, wait a minute. Before you stop the video, before you quit out of the page there, make sure to subscribe my channel. Dot I mean, Infinite Power Gaming right here. Make sure to go to my channel right here and subscribe it. To my channel. So, all of you guys, join. Please give a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next fucking video. Bye bye.